Welcome. In this video, we are going to derive an expression for the moment of inertia of the spherical cell of negligible thickness about an axis which is passing through its center or you can say about its diameter. So we will first consider a spherical cell. And the axis may be considered the horizontal axis about which we have to find the moment of inertia. So it is this axis and we can also draw an axis which is perpendicular to it and the intersection point will be the origin. So this is the origin O and this is axis AOB about which we have to find the moment of inertia. You can say it is the axis rotation. So moment of inertia of a spherical cell about AOB. Now the mass is being distributed along its periphery here, this along the surface and the distance of the mass from the rotation axis is not same. It is continuously varying. And because of this continuous variation, we will have to find the moment of inertia by the method of integration. So we will first cut this spherical cell into smaller rings with the help of vertical planes, the plane which is perpendicular to AOB. So if we cut this spherical cell along this plane, it will be like this one. It will give a circular cross section. You can say it is E here and F here. Suppose this line joining O to E is making an angle theta here. We will make another cut in the second plane so that the line joining the G and O will be making an angle theta plus D theta or an additional angle D theta. So it will be like this one. And between these two planes, there lies a ring. What is the radius of ring? This is the radius of ring. And it will be R sin theta. How? This is O. This is R. And this is theta. This OG and OE are R. And this one is now R sin theta. So now consider the mass of the shell, let us say it is m, radius of cell, you can say it is r. Now the aerial density, sigma can be written as the mass upon area, mass is m, the area is 4 pi r square. Now, as we have cut this spherical cell into various rings and one such ring is EFGH. Now, we will find the moment of inertia of this ring about axis AOB and we will sum up the moment of inertia of all such rings to get the moment of inertia of this spherical cell. So, for the rings shown in the figure, the radius of this ring is r sin theta. Now width of the ring that is equal to e g equal to h f equal to how much it is arc. Arc is equal to radius into angle. Radius is r and the angle is d theta. So it will be r d theta. Now we will find the area of this ring. To find the area of this ring, we will have to first find the circumference of the ring. Circumference of this ring that is 2 pi r. So it will be 2 pi r means r sin theta because the radius here is r sin theta. And the area of this ring, area of this ring 
will be equal to circumference into width. Circumference is 2 pi r sin theta and the width is r d theta. So it will be equal to 2 pi r square sin theta d theta. Now we have found the area of this ring. We will multiply it with the aerial density. We will have mass. So mass of this ring equal to 2 pi r square sigma sin theta d theta. That means we have multiplied this 2 pi r square sin theta d theta with sigma. That is the aerial density. So we know the mass of the ring. We know the radius of the ring. The moment of inertia of this ring. equal to mass into the square of radius radius is square so what is mass so mass of the ring is 2 pi r is square sigma sin theta d theta and what is radius radius is r sin theta square so it will become 2 pi r 4 sigma sin cube theta d theta so this ring is being obtained by cutting this spherical cell by the two parallel planes and this ring is making an angle theta and theta plus d theta by varying the value of theta we can have different rings by theta equal to 0 the ring here with the radius 0 and the theta equal to 90 the ring will have the radius r and the at theta equal to pi the it will again have the radius 0. So that means theta can vary from 0 to pi. So to obtain the moment of inertia, moment of inertia of shell that i will be the integration of this one. You can say this one is the moment of inertia, the differential of the moment of inertia, you can say di. So we will have theta equal to 0 to pi 2 pi r4 sigma sin cube theta d theta. Here in this integration, the 2 is fixed, pi is fixed, r is the radius of the spherical cell, which is also fixed, the sigma is the aerial density, which is also fixed, the integrand is sin cube theta d theta. So that means these four can be taken outside 2 pi r4 sigma theta equal to 0 to pi sin cube theta d theta. To solve this sin cube theta d theta, we will make it sin square theta sin theta. So it will be 2 pi r 4 sigma theta equal to 0 to pi sin square theta sin theta d theta. Now this sin, theta, sin square theta can be also written as 1 minus cos square theta. So it will be 2 pi r 4 sigma. 1 minus cos square theta sin theta d theta and the integration with theta equal to 0 to pi. Now we will assume that cos theta equal to t. That means minus sin theta d theta equal to dt or you can say sin theta d theta is minus dt. Now you will have to change the limits at theta equal to 0 the cos 0 equal to 1 at theta equal to pi the cos pi equal to minus 1. So the limits now becomes 1 to minus 1 that is theta equal to 0 to pi so here it becomes t equal to 1 to t equal to minus 1 so i will be equal to 2 pi r 4 sigma t equal to 1 to t equal to minus 1 1 minus t square minus dt but you can take this minus sign inside it will be equal to 2 pi r 4 sigma t square minus 1 dt now 
it will be equal to 2 pi r 4 sigma t cube by 3 minus t. The limits are 1 to minus 1. So it will be 2 pi r 4 sigma. So minus 1 cube is minus 1, minus 1 by 3. With minus 1 here, minus sign here, it will be plus 1. Minus of 1 cube, that means it will be equal to minus 1 upon 3. And this minus minus plus, so it will be plus 1. So it will be 2 pi r4 sigma. It will be 2 minus 2 by 3. So it will be 2 pi r4 sigma. It will be 4 by 3. So you can say it is 8 upon 3 pi r4 sigma. We will substitute the value of sigma here to get the value of i in terms of mass and radius. So it will be 8 upon 3 pi r4 sigma. Sigma is the aerial density. What is aerial density? Aerial density is here. It is m upon 4 pi r square. So it will be m upon 4 pi r square. So sigma is m upon 4 pi r is square. So r is square. The 2 power cancels at 2 remaining. Pi cancels out. 4 to the 8. So it will be equal to 2 by 3 m r is square. So it is the moment of inertia of a spherical cell about its diameter. That is 2 by 3 m r is square where m is the mass of the spherical cell and r is the radius. So PDF copy of the notes of this video can be found in the description below. Thank you.